<laughs> Shut up, that folks. Somebody, somebody called me. Okay. We've been getting new people in ideological liberation working group too, and it's like, wow. <laughs> right. Totally new energy. And I've been able to attach things up to a certain degree with the people down at 101 Market. Good, good. I really don't want to have anything to do with any of their organizing, though. Nah. Uh, because uh, uh, I, I watched the last, Courtney was at the last live stream, or she streamed the last time they did a march, and all of a sudden, they had this crowd of people that they were marching with, and they made out like a abrupt left. The march split in half, and um, they really don't provide for the safety of the people that are involved with it. Right, that's what's got me going with the legal stuff because uh, what happened to uh, to Jesse should have never happened. No. Right. Um, that whole 888 church thing was organized by the people down at 101 Market. Right. They didn't ask for any any like consensus from anybody else. Sort of drug us along on the march. We knew what was going on, but at the same time, they didn't provide for the safety of the people that were there. We have a lot of, there was a lot and, of things to help people down there that should not have been exposed right. to that environment. And people got hurt yeah. by the police because of that. Yes. Right? Um, you know, That's people why I their, well, I like, I will have, I'd much rather be over Oakland getting flashbanged and tear gassed, you know, where I can at least be helped, than over here where it's just like... It's where they break good. your fingers after they take you into custody. Yeah. Right? San Francisco is dirty like that. Or like the one, yeah. uh, I think the one woman, Robin, she well, still has a tingle um, from the arrest all the way back to December 7th. She still has tingles in her palms. Yeah. The last time I saw to her. It's ridiculous. Permanent damage. Yeah, it is ridiculous. So we're here fighting a good fight and we're winning. Oh, yeah. You know, we got, got public opinion on our side. We definitely affected the, the, uh, the discussion during the presidential elections, yes. I think. Oh, totally. You know, we definitely brought a lot of stuff out into the forefront. Or even like uh, Romney's calling for an audit of the Federal Reserve. Which is good. So, but uh, not Obama. Right, Obama. Obama's going to be continue to be the a pawn of Wall Street interests. He's Wall Street's you know. power bottom. So, <laughs> so well, we're going to continue our struggle, and we hope that your viewers out there are continuing your struggle, and that uh, you try to attend protests in your area because we'd much rather have you in person, see you in person, than uh, than uh, have you on the watching the live stream. But that's okay. The live stream is the second best thing. So people here are uh, chalking the sidewalk. I'm gonna get up and get off my lazy butt and walk around a little bit. Oh. We're like friend. We're friend. We're on friendly terms. Because we we sell their stuff. We're just a distributor. Yeah. That site of Compton's Cafeteria, first uh, riot for gay rights in the United States, 1966, August 20th. Something about August 20th, there must have been something else that happened that day, so if you know out there, log on to the social stream and let me know. Comments. There's going to be some cake served. <laughs> then we got the names of people in the gay community, alive and dead. Regina, Leslie, and Keith just fell to the ground. Looking for the names here. You got the cake. I'm trying to walk around here and see if I can give you a shot of the cake before it gets cut up. <laughs> 